today is the very first day that the sun has been out in probably months not even kidding and it makes me so happy but to continue my beginner beekeeping series that i've been doing on the channel so far today i'm going to talk about what do you truly need and what does it actually cost to even start beekeeping there are so many products out there and so many options and there's so many different things that are being thrown at you and people saying you need this and this and this so in this video i'm going to tell you the bare minimum basics that you're going to need to even start beekeeping to hopefully help you save a little bit of money and get that ball rolling. All right, before we leave, I have to get here's the thing in this video we're wrapping up. Look at that root pattern. Well, yeah, y'all hear that? He's got 600 and what? And I'm able to get her in this cage. Like, ah! So happy that I got her just in time. <laughs> So before I get into the money side and start comparing different companies of each product, let's just talk about the things you're going to need first. So in order to start beekeeping, especially if you're in a northern climate, the first two things that you should really kind of think about is getting two deep boxes. And the reason I say that is you're going to have one deep box where all of your bees and brood are going to live. And the second deep box is what they're going to build up so that they can start storing honey for their winter stores. In Michigan, where I'm located, that is honestly the easiest way to start beekeeping, in my opinion, um, when it comes to making sure your bees are going to be able to make it through the winter time. Because when you have a whole extra deep of honey on top of your hive, it makes it so you can literally just close them up and forget about them until springtime because that's all they need. Um, makes it a lot easier on you, and that's exactly how I did it when I first started beekeeping. Now, if you want to be a little bit more comfortable, then I would suggest getting one honey super just in case you have really, really productive bees that is possible. And also if you have an area that has a really good flow, then it's possible they could build up both deep boxes and a super. But I would never suggest buying the um, kind of like starter packs you generally see on like Amazon and stuff like that that have like a deep and a medium. You're going to want that deep, those two deep boxes to come with it. And in all honesty, if you don't mind like searching out where to get each thing from, you can save a lot of money in buying each individual part that you need versus getting a big starter pack. But if you want to be easy, get a starter pack, that works too. And with that, you're going to need the frames to fill up that hive. So I generally suggest buying plastic foundation that is waxed for beginner beekeepers. Um, and the key there is to make sure that it is actually waxed. Because in my experience, whenever I've used just plastic frames um, that weren't waxed, some hives were okay with it, but other ones, they'll draw what's called wonky comb. So they won't draw out comb that's in the correct manner, just coming straight off of that sheet. Instead, it's gonna be like all over the place and not really attached, and it just creates a huge mess. Um, so I suggest starting with that also because plastic frames make it so that the bees know exactly how they need to set the hive up. You're throwing bees into a hive that has no built out comb. So because of that, you want to give them a little bit of like a guideline of how you want them to build out your hive. Now if you're feeling a little risky. You can try foundationless. Um, I did have a question about that in the comments in one of my last videos. And if you do want to save a little money and go that route, then still, in my opinion, if I was to start beekeeping today, I would only do half of the frames in that high foundation list and do the other half of the frames being um, with plastic foundation. So what I would do is I'd have one frame of plastic foundation, another frame that was a foundationless frame, plastic foundation, foundationless, plastic frame. That way that they still have those guidelines of how they need to build out the hive. So depending on how big of a box you get, if you get an 8 frame or a 10 frame, if you get a 10 frame, then you're going to need 20 deep frames right off the bat just so you can fill up those two deeps. And if you end up getting a honey super or a medium, then you're also going to need 10 medium frames to fill up that honey super as well. And the other thing that you're going to make sure you have is a bottom board and a telescoping uh, lid. You don't really need to get an inner cover. Um, in all honesty, I kind of feel like they're pointless. 
Um, they're just an extra piece of, of wood and extra money that you spend on a hive that just kind of, I mean, yeah, it helps raise the lid a little bit to help with airflow, but I use all of my hives. I, I now run them without inner covers because just they're always in the way. And that's also a place that small hive beetles like to hide. So I don't really see a point in them in all honesty. Um, so get yourself a telescoping cover and also get yourself a bottom board. There are two different kinds of bottom boards that you can get. You can get a solid wood bottom board or you can get a screened bottom board. Um, it's all personal preference, but if you just want to like start with the bare basics and the cheapest things that you can get to get yourself started, a solid bottom board is truly, it truly works just as great. A screen bottom board does have its perks, but it also has its cons when it comes to overwintering and whatnot. I run all of my hives with solid bottom boards because it is a lot cheaper for me to do it that way. So yeah. Um, and then the next thing you're going to need is definitely get yourself a hive tool. Um, and I would suggest maybe getting yourself two hive tools because you nine times out of 10 will probably lose that hive tool and you'll forget where you misplaced it. It's constantly a problem in Casey and I's bee yard. Um, so it's always good to have a backup just in case, or you can use a butter knife, but those really aren't the best either. <laughs> Um, and then the next thing that you're going to want to look at is a bee suit. If you don't want to get stung and trust me, when you first start going into a hive as a new beekeeper, you're going to feel a little bit stressed. You're not going to be used to all the bees buzzing around you. It's going to feel a little bit like chaotic at first until you get used to it. So just so you have peace of mind, I usually suggest new beekeepers to make sure they do have a bee suit. Um, I know you probably see a lot of YouTubers on here that aren't wearing bee suits and you're probably like, oh, hey, I don't need a bee suit. If they're not wearing a bee suit, I don't need a bee suit. I took that approach at first and trust me, it will bite you in the butt literally from doing that. You want a bee suit. Um, it makes us, you can stay a lot more calm when you're going through your hive and it helps you learn how to stay calm when they're all buzzing around you like that. So yeah, get a bee suit. The next thing that you're gonna want is a smoker as well. Especially when you first start beekeeping, you definitely wanna smoke your bees until you get used to learning when they start getting aggravated and when they're not. Because also when you first start beekeeping, you're going to be moving fairly slow versus when you get more experience, you can get in and get out pretty quickly. And what happens is when you're moving fairly slow, that the pheromones that the bees are releasing like hey someone's in our hive they have time to spread all those pheromones around the whole entire hive and after a certain amount of time the hive is like hey you have had us open there's a huge draft coming in you're shining light into our hive with the sun um can you close us up please so we can get back to work so they'll get a little bit fussy sometimes so it's always good to have a smoker on hand for that as well and you don't need anything fancy um just a classic smoker that you can throw some like wood chips or um white cotton t-shirts in or wood or um pine needles newspaper newspaper anything like that just to keep it burning and the very last thing and the most important thing that you're going to need of course, our bees. Um, I did do a video talking about having a buying a package of bees versus a nuke of bees versus a 10 frame deep of bees. So definitely go check that out if you want to know more information about that. But okay, let's start looking and pricing out what this is actually going to cost to get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with I'm going to do a 10 frame deep for honeybees. And the reason I'm gonna start with 10 frames and not go the route of doing an eight frame is because I feel like you have a lot more room for doing different things with your hive when you have a 10 frame. Because you can get a feeder frame that you put sugar water in to put into your hive that will then replace a frame or two and end up shrinking your hive down anyways. I like to use a two gallon frame feeder that I put in my hives and it shrinks it down to an eight frame hive. Whereas when you already automatically get an eight frame hive, you can never really shrink it down or you can't really make it, I mean, you can't really make it any bigger than what it is. So personally, I just like going with a 10 frame um, because you have more options that way with it. So let's just start with that. So right off the bat, I see we have a um, starter hive that you can get for 167. That's really expensive in my opinion um, to get started. That comes with everything you possibly need if you don't want to really have to think about it. Um, and I doesn't, I don't see it saying that it comes with any frames that go in it. Um, 
and it's unassembled but anyways we're trying to do find the cheapest way to start beekeeping as possible so let's just keep looking so we have um from amazon 54.99 this is a box with 10 deep frames with foundations um I've learned the hard way, let's just go ahead and click on this. I've learned the hard way that buying things off Amazon, you have to really be diligent in how you look to see what if their frames are actually waxed. Yeah, see, 10 frames with unwaxed foundations. Yeah, so I got one of these when I first started and it truly went and bit me in the butt because I tried the unwaxed foundations and I tried to wax them myself with... um just some beeswax that I bought off of Amazon. They were like beeswax pellets that I melted down. And yeah, I had the worst wonky comb I've ever seen. It did not work at all. So for new beekeeper, I would suggest getting wax frames. Um, let's see, a 10, a 10 frame deep super unassembled pre-drilled from Honey Run for $18. That's actually a steal. That's really good. Let's come back to that. Um, so first let's look at the ones that you usually hear a lot about. Um, I don't want to put companies on blast, but I'm going to give you guys my unbiased opinion. Um, by the way, I'm not sponsored by anybody. So I'm just going to tell you just straight how it is um, with my experience. So here's Dadent, um, 2285 for a 10 frame deep super that is unassembled. Um, this is a little pricey in my opinion. Um, and in all honesty, I have not had the best of luck with Dadent. Whenever I ordered ba uh, boxes from them, they've came in and they've been like falling apart. Uh, that is not something I want when I spend all this money to start a beehive, in all honesty. So let's keep looking. Um, Better Bee is not too bad of a, a, a company. I've gotten really good things from them. But $25.95 is a little pricey. Um, we're trying to save as much money as we possibly can. So let's see. What else do we have here? 2668 wow that is whoo that is up there and that's not even counting shipping um let's see laps bee supply 2295 so it looks like we're looking at around 20 dollars to 22 Ooh, tractor supply company that is the cheapest i've seen so far Except for one other company that I'm about to show you guys. So $17.99. That's not too bad. It's actually pretty good. I haven't gotten any stuff from them, so I have no idea what the quality is. But all right, so I'm going to go to a company that I just found that bl absolutely blew my mind at their prices. And they are just now starting up. Um, they are based out of Missouri. They're a family-owned company. And we all like that. We all like supporting small people. So... Let's take a look at their hive bodies. Let's see, they'll load for me. Okay. Um, so I've already looked at these, so I'm going to scroll right to one. So $17.50 for an unassembled 10 frame deep hive. Now that is a steal. And $18 if you want to get it already assembled. Honestly, for an extra 50 cents, that's not too bad. But again, we're trying to save as much money as possible. So let's just go ahead and go with this. So this is for a 10 frame deep hive. 1750 looks pretty good um now i'm curious how much the shipping would be because a lot of times the shipping can be a little bit more expensive with different places so i pulled up a couple different companies that i generally like to go with just to compare so for two 10 frame deep hives that are unassembled it is $35 for the both of them plus a $15 delivery fee to me in Michigan. So that'd be $50 total. That is not bad at all. Now, the other company that I've used in the past that had great quality stuff was Hilco. Um, so I decided to pop over here and see what their prices are looking like. And with my shipping address, it was $47.18 for two. Um, their prices have gone up a little bit. It's around like $22 per deep box with a $15 shipping fee. Um, so that's going to be $65. That's an extra $15 in comparison to this other company. So let's just go with that. And we're going to start off with our two deep boxes are going to be $50. Now, what if we want to go ahead and get a medium 
that we can put on our hive. So let's scroll down here and see how much they charge for those. So they do have painted options, um, but again, we're trying to go with the cheapest as possible. If you want something that's a little bit easier, then you can spend a little bit of extra money so that you don't have to do all of that. Um, and it's not looking like, let's see, deep box, deep box, deep box, assemble, medium frames. It doesn't look like they have any mediums on this website, so we're going to have to look elsewhere for that. But while we're here, let's go ahead and skip forward to the the actual like foundation and frames because this company, I again, I have not used them, but they the prices, they are like killer. I've never seen prices for this, and they look to be of good quality. And just knowing right off the bat, these are generally pretty cheap for plastic foundation and whatnot. Only 185 per sheet. That is really good, especially considering some other places will charge like $2 a sheet. So 20 sheets at 185 a piece. So to save you guys the time of me actually looking and realizing that they didn't have any um any medium supers on this website, and they also didn't have any wooden frames on this website. I'm just going to walk you through what I did. So I ended up deciding to just go ahead and add on um, the assembled frames for the mediums and the assembled frames for the deeps. These are a really, really cheap price for these kind of frames. Generally, it's usually $4 a piece with the plastic frame plus the wooden frame itself. So this is a huge deal. And I also went back and talked a little bit about the different colors that you can get. So you will generally always see that you can either get a black plastic foundation or you can get a yellow plastic foundation and if you're going to be getting foundation for your deep boxes I would suggest getting black so that way you can actually see the eggs in the cells that the queen lays whereas if you get yellow for your deep boxes where the brood nest is going to be you're not going to be able to see those eggs now the bees do tend to draw out yellow frames a little bit quicker that's why we like using them for honey but when it comes to brood it's kind of a pain in the butt because you can't really see anything all right, so we also have our medium frames. So let's go ahead and look at medium supers. So in a quick Google search, um, I'm also seeing Honey Run pop up again. So I got all 50 of our new boxes that we bought last year from Honey Run and they are amazing quality. I was so impressed. They're so easy to put together. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and look at that because that is definitely something. Wait, why is that? Oh, and they also have a downgrade box that's not as good of quality for $8.50. Wow, they're actually really affordable. That's really impressive. So, okay, we're looking at a medium super. Um, we're going to go ahead and put yes for pre-drilled, and we only need one. So let's take a look at what the shipping would cost. All right, now I will say I have noticed that their shipping is a little bit more expensive. Um, we play, we paid a lot in shipping when we got our nuke boxes, but after shipping and everything else, they ended up being the cheapest still. So 1011 is how much it's going to cost. So we're looking at 2261 for our Honey Super. So we have our deep, two deep boxes, all of our frames, our medium box with all of its frames. Now we need to look for a bottom board and a telescoping cover. Um, a telescoping lid. So I do not believe that Golden Bee had any at all. Like I said, they're still a startup. So, oh, they do, but they're out of stock at the moment. So that's all right. Let's hop back over to Hillco and see what they have. So 10 frame hive and components is what you're going to want to click on. Make sure you double check that. Um, $21.59 for a solid bottom board. Eh, that's a little pricey. Ooh, $31.99 for telescoping cover. Let's do a Google search and see. Let's see, 10 frame telescoping cover for bees. All right, so we're looking at Honey Run, $20. So I hope we can look at Honey Run. And then we have Lehman's or Lehman's, Lehman's 22. So, all right. And how much was Hilco's? 31. Yes, yeah, so let's go back to Honey Run. If that's really what the price is going to be, then might as well save on shipping and 
just do everything from that. So telescoping cover, 10 frame. All right, $20 for telescoping cover for a 10 frame. So let's go ahead and add that to the cart. We only need one. It looks like this one's not painted, so you will need to paint this. Um, otherwise it will start to rot, just a heads up on that. And you don't have to go with the telescoping cover. I just found as a new beekeeper, that is just what seems to be to, seems to be the best. Um, it also helps keep moisture from dripping into your colony uh, during the winter time. That's a huge problem with migratory lids that I've noticed because they're not made to be overwintered outdoors. So let's look for a bottom board. Let's see, 10 frame bottom board, $15. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That is a lot better. A lot, a lot better. So my question is, is if this even comes with a entrance reducer, you don't need it right away, but you will need it during the winter time and if you ever have any robbing problems. So let's go ahead and put that on there. Entrance reducer. And these are cheap only 150 so just add it on there just in case that you have it and now we're looking at 49 dollars that's not too bad so now we're looking at 176 as our total so far now the only things left that we really want to find is a bee suit a smoker and some hive tools so let's see what a hive tool costs from honey run since we're already going to be ordering from them that's not bad at all um so when you're looking at hive tools, honestly, spend a little bit of extra just to have this J hook on the end. It makes your life so much easier, um, especially when you're pulling out frames. You just need to be careful when it gets too cold because it will make you pull the, the nails out of the frame, which is not good. You want to only use it when it's warm out. Um, but I also really love this one. This one um, I wasn't even introduced to until K I met Casey because Casey has one of those. And now I literally steal that from him always because it is the bomb. But I originally started with this red one. So you don't have to go crazy with this getting the other one. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this one for our hive tool. Add that on. So now we're at 184 as our total. Um... Do they have any smokers? So you don't need to go crazy with this. In all honesty, you can get a smoker um, from Amazon. That's what actually I have. Casey got a really expensive smoker that's like really nice, but like it never stays lit and it's kind of funky. Now the only bad thing about mine, yes, yeah, see I got a cheap one off of Amazon. Um, I think that's actually the exact one I have. The only thing about mine is sometimes that lid can get kind of stuck on because of the heat and everything else that collects, all the buildup that collects around it. Um, oh, hey, or you can even get, let's see, a smoker and a high tool combo with the hook. Yeah, let's go with that, especially if you can get free shipping. That actually would not be bad. So let's go back to 176 is what we were at. And we're going to add on the $18 for the smoker and hive tool combined. So now we're at $194 for our total. So the only thing left that we need is a bee suit. Now this is going to be the most expensive thing you get because in all honesty, the ones you buy off of Amazon, this is what I originally started with. And it was terrible to the fact that the bees were actually able to sting through it. So don't skimp out and get like a $29 bee suit. You will regret it. So I actually do have this Humblebee 420 Arrow. I absolutely love it. I actually prefer, oh, there's a new one that's actually a little bit cheaper for, a, it's a 430 ventilator. That must be their brand new one. Cause this one is a little bit thick. So this one would be one that'd be cool to check out. Um, but anyways, what I was saying is I actually really like the round veil that you can get with your bee suits. I don't like it when they have a hood like this cause I feel very confined and it's really hard to see. So I would suggest um, getting a round veil so you can actually see everything around you. Yeah, this one looks nice. And it has some pads for when you like are on your knees, which happens a lot. Looks like it has some pockets right there. Looks ventilated. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, so where I have my current bee suit that I'm using is from Napoleon Bee Supply. Um, it's a two-piece bee suit. It has a million pockets. 
Let's see, this is the full bee suit. They have more that are in stock if you are able to get to them in person, but I know you can't always, this is in a point in Michigan, so not everybody can actually get to this. But it has a bunch of pockets that are absolutely great because I need all those pockets. Um, and it has like pads on the knees too, so that if you have to like bend down and get in your knees, which happens a lot when you're beekeeping. But let's also do a normal Google search for a bee suit and see what we're looking at. So yeah, like I said, they're a little pricey, um, it's really personal preference on what you want to get. Um, if you want to get one that's a two piece, if you want to get one that's a one piece, I started with a one piece just because I wanted to get used to the bees before I started getting stung a lot. Because in a two piece, it gives you way more room to actually get stung. They can sneak up um, in between where your pants and your your top meet and sting you there. Because a lot of times, their your pants will start to fall down a little bit um or like your your jacket will start to ride up a little bit too whereas the full bee suit makes it so the only places they can get in are your wrists or your ankles um or with the humblebee arrow <laughs> let's go back to that you see that right there in the middle you, you see like this right here that i have my mouse on um yeah this right here um, if you do not zip them up all the way correctly and put this flap down a bee can sneak in there and it will sting you in the neck just like it did to me um, so don't be lazy with that. <laughs> but, so yeah, we're looking at $194 to get started without bees. Now, bees are going to be around $200 for a nucleus colony. That's what they're running at right now. Um, and if you wanted to start off with, like, a package of bees, then those are around, like, $135 to, like, $145. But then with a package of bees, you're going to have to feed them a lot. And I actually did a video right over here if you want to watch it, comparing the differences between the two so you can kind of make your own judgment on which route you want to take. So right now we're looking at $394 if you get a nucleus colony, or it would be around $334 if you were to get a package of bees. Now, this is gonna go up a little bit more depending upon what suit you get. So go ahead and tack on an extra, let's just say ballpark $200, um, depending on what suit you get. Now, you can go ahead and try to go with a cheaper suit, um, but I would suggest wearing a, a, um, like a hoodie or something like that underneath it just to help a little bit if they do start to sting you, but it will get hot in the summertime. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Oh, this is nice that it has, like, a, you can, like, pull it off so you can, like, drink water and whatnot. That it would be very, very beneficial, I will say. So, kind of scout out what suits you think would, would look the best and is in your best price range. But, honestly, $3.94 if you get a nuke, that is not bad to get started with beekeeping. And that is the bare basic minimums that minimum that you need. Now, one other expense that you will probably have later in the year is you will have to think about mite treatments. You don't have to think about that until August and you could get something like Formic Pro. That's something that will be kind of like easy for you and quick and affordable. That's usually what I suggest for new beekeepers to get just because like I said, they're really easy to apply. Um, I have some videos on those and I'll do more videos about that in the future, but yeah, so I hope that video was insanely helpful and I hope this helps in your beekeeping journey. And if you're kind of on the fence on if you want to start beekeeping, my recommendation is to really just dive in. Honestly, you're going to absolutely fall in love with it. It is very addicting, so I will warn you of that. But it has a way of just like making your mind at peace. And in all honesty, it's kind of like therapy for me. When you have a stressful day at work or just things aren't going right, go into your bee yard and just work your hives and see how they all are working on the comb. And being able to listen to the buzzing of them just buzzing around you is just so peaceful. So if you're thinking about it, just try it. You never know. You can love it. But... All right, that's it for me today and I'll see you guys soon and don't quit and be fit.